Today we're going to replace the battery, 12 volt battery, the low voltage battery on a 2020 or older Tesla. You'll know it's time to replace your 12 volt battery when you receive this message, electrical system unable to support all features, VC front A182. First thing you want to do, lower the window, the passenger side, rear, also lower the window in the driver's side, then open the frunk. It's pretty easy to pull this off. You're just going to grab under here, pop this up. And there's your battery. These little white tabs pop out. There's four of them. Just pop them up. Give you access to the battery. 10 millimeter here and there, but first, click here in the lower left. Safety. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Power off. You can move this passenger seat up to give yourself a little more room. Step in the rear passenger door. This is the back seat. Just run your hand along here till you feel the latch and you're gonna slide the latch that direction. There's one latch here and one latch on the other side on the driver's side. So you move the latch and then just lift up. Same thing on this side behind the driver's seat. Find the latch, slide it that direction. So we are going to remove the foam piece that covers this. We are not going to disconnect that high voltage just yet. Just rest the seat down and not lock it. Next step, with a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove this bracket that retains the battery. And you don't need to take that nut all the way off. You just push this lever forward and lift up. And then it has a little retention clip right there that hooks underneath this. Next step is to disconnect the negative terminal after that, we're going to go to the back and disconnect the high voltage. Just make sure that you don't arc this to the positive. This needs to be loose enough to pull this off. So once you pull this off, you can set it to the side. Don't need to worry about covering it or doing anything crazy. Next step, let's go to the back of the car under the seat. We'll disconnect the high voltage. Under the seat here, and this little gray clip needs to fold down. There's a little clip here that you just push it in, push it that direction, and then this ends up laying flat, and it raises this clip up, and then you can pull the high voltage. And you want to make sure this, you want to make sure this gray part is in fact pushed all the way down so that it releases. Make sure nothing is touching in the high voltage area. Critical step, leave your doors open. Now the next step is to disconnect the positive side. It's the same as the negative side. Now we've got this up. I'm just going to cover it. And there we go. Now we've got this battery. We're going to take it into Tesla, get a new battery, put the new one in. Okay, we got the new battery from the Tesla dealership. Uh, they're only $85, so actually pretty cheap for this 12-volt battery compared to uh, other local places like AutoZone. There weren't a lot that had it, but make sure that you do have this red plug in it. If not, save it from your old one. And then also, we're going to reconnect the vent, which I didn't show, but you're going to reconnect this vent hose to this little hole here. The vent hose looks like this little guy. We're going to put this battery in that hole we're not going to hook up the terminals yet and then we're going to go back plug in the high voltage and then come back here and hook up positive and negative extra wire out of the way that you won't have and we're going to take this bracket hook it under here and actually reattach the battery and it just hooks under a lip directly under here lip on this front side as well. And you're supposed to torque this to 4.4 foot pounds. We're gonna leave the caps on. We're gonna to go to the back of the car, hook up the high voltage. So you've got your connector. We're gonna face it directly down until it pushes up and it snaps. Uh, and you should see that snapped on like that. Styrofoam's on, now we're gonna latch it down. All right, high voltage is hooked up in the back. We're gonna pull this cap off the positive terminal. 
and you're just going to press that down on the positive. You want to make sure to get this kind of all the way down and perpendicular here. They are tapered on the top. That's pushed down. We're going to torque that really quick. 4.4 foot-pounds. And now we're going to do the same for the negative terminal. Pull the cap off. There we go. The last step is going to be taking this little vent for the battery, and it goes in this negative side here. Sort of works its way in there. Now we're going to reinstall just like we took it off. Shut the hood and Hey, look at that. The message is gone. Perfect. That other battery was bulging a little bit, so it was definitely time. Uh, this one's all charged. Another nice thing about buying them at the Tesla dealer, they actually have them on the charger there for you, so they're all charged up. You don't have to fuss with anything, and $85 is really nothing. So, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.